All right, so we got the complete Diablo timeline. Let's go to the video. In this the is about, man. Angels and demons fought endlessly in a war. Known as a new as the fan conflict, or a new player, the goal was to hold sway over of the all Diablo series. In the name of chaos, I'm excited for the video, man. Respectively, at the heart of their war was a power. Shout out to this guy, man. Never watched his videos before. Is the world stone. A reality Game Lord Dash, relic, shout to you. They granted untold power to those who would wield it, yet neither side would hold it in their possession for long. Okay. The main stage of the Diablo series would be set in a world named Sanctuary. A world Sanctuary, created okay. by the conjoined I've seen that guy before, the, the guy with the and burning hells to escape with the white from this face. eternal war, led by the archangel Anarius and the daughter of hatred Lilith in a blasphemous unison, of hatred. they stole and used the great monolithic crystalline world stone fragmented from the god Anu to create their sanctuary in hopes of obtaining peace from the never-ending war of their brethren. The stone would okay. then rest at the heart of the world and remain a source of great power as it was hidden within the mountain region of Ariat on Sanctuary. I like this guy's it's voice, man. You would see the rise of the first humans in the cosmology of Diablo. Is he like half Created angel, half of demon? Angel and demon, these Nephilim would become the predominant peoples of the planet and the Isn't that like a human being, though? Right? The game's timeline, no, never mind. Fearing the growing that. power of these Nephilim it was put before Inarius that they should be destroyed to prevent the forces of heaven and hell from finding sanctuary and laying waste to his new paradise, as they had done so many times before across the course of the eternal conflict. Okay. This decision would not sit well with Inarius, so he went into quiet contemplation to mull over this drastic choice. However, Lilith would not hear of proposed filicide. Having need of the power of the Nephilim to fulfill her goal of overthrowing the high heavens and burning hells and being the sole victor of the eternal conflict. Oh, so she so, wanted it all. In a fit of rage, Lilith took the form of a beast of fang and claw and began to slay every rogue angel and demon who lacked the good sense I remember to her. return to their respective planes. This action angered Anarius, but as he truly had feelings for Lilith, he vowed he would never kill her, nor oh. could he harm her, and instead chose to banish her to a bleak realm of nothingness called the Void. The power of oh, the wow. Nephilim still proved too great to ignore. So, Anarius attuned the Worldstone to lessen their power gradually over time, reducing them to powerless humans and robbing the Nephilim of their immortality. Those who rose up against Anarius during this time would suffer under his wrath. Oh, wow. And be slain. Inarius had gone into hiding not long after leaving the world without leadership or guidance. Mankind would not sit idly by, and as tribes formed, civilizations rose across the world, forming their own governments and organizations. Okay. And men would eventually seek to restore their own power, developing the various forms of magic we see throughout history. One such form of magic, Ew, the power that? of conjuring spirits, was <laughs> developed by the Vajerai, the spirit clan of mages. One mage, Jerry Harash, would conjure a spirit in a particularly dark mood and attract the soul of a demon from the burning hells by accident. Oh no. Realizing what it conjured too late. Oh no. He banished the spirit back, but that demon would reveal to the prime evil the location and existence of sanctuary. The prime evils would then set a foothold on sanctuary, realizing humanity could be used as a viable weapon and established their own Temple of the Triune. In response, Anarius, desperate, returned from hiding and founded the Cathedral of Light to counter the influences of the Triune. So why can I ever see dude's face? And thus began the battle for the soul of mankind. Is he ugly? Is the Sin War. During this time, Lilith found a way back into the world from the void and began attempting to rebuild her army of Nephilim, weaving her influences on a farmer by the name of Uldisian. How did she find her way back, though? While in the guise of a young human woman, along with his brother Mendel and two of his friends, Achilleos and Serenthia, the crew would rally the people of southern Kejistan, forming an army of powered Nephilim known as the Edirim and take on the Triune and the Cathedral of Light in tandem. It wouldn't take long before Lilith's manipulations were revealed and defeated as well, 
that she was banished for a second time to the void by Inarius. Boy, call her Before speed Inarius because she keeps getting banned. Oh my god. In combat by the farmer Odysseus. The damage was done. And Sanctuary was now in plain view of both the high heavens and burning hells as a Oh, new that man ground. running. However, you sing both. Joint decision by the Angiris Council of the High Heavens and Mephisto. Okay, he looks good in white. I'll Sanctuary keep it real. Sanctuary was decidedly left alone and not destroyed as so many other worlds had been before. And they instead opted to stay out of humanity's way, but also watch them from a distance. But okay. At a price. Anarius was promptly gifted by the high heavens to Mephisto as a peace offering, and for his transgressions, he was tormented in the realm of hatred for the next 3,000 years. 3,000 years?! At the of the battle, Uldissian had sacrificed himself, lending his own essence to the whole of Sanctuary, sending both the armies of heaven and hell back to their respective planes, and the okay. world stone was then reattuned limiting the power of the nephilim now leaderless after the fall of the temple of triune and cathedral of light the mage clans assumed control oh, of the political landscape of sanctuary the most powerful the vigera would hold the greatest influence but but internal strife would cause the delicate balance of power to collapse two brothers Bartok and Horizon of the Vigeri would struggle for Oh, he was good in that red, Not okay. the lesson with summoning of demons, the two waged a bloody war against each other, arguing over how to utilize demons to their advantage. And they thought of a war? devastation across the world and losing faith in the mage clans by the people of Sanctuary. I would too. It said this time the mage clans became reviled in the people's eyes, and religion would move in to take its place, and an ascetic priest by the name of Akarat would found the religion of the Zakarum, becoming the dominant political power across the land, uh -oh. setting up footholds across all the world, from Kurast, the center of power, to Westmarch. Oh, like the little stadium at the sail games in Dragon Ball. The failure of the prime evils during the Sin War would spark a civil war in the Burning Hells, ultimately ending in the exile of the prime evils, Mephisto, Baal and Diablo, to Sanctuary, thanks to the combined forces of the lesser evils, where they okay. were hunted and imprisoned by a group of mages, a clandestine group known as the Herodrum, that was formed surreptitiously by the Archangel Tyrion as to big. not make the High Heavens full pack to stay off Sanctuary. These Herodric hunts resulted in the primes being held in specially attuned worldstone shards known as soul stones. Okay. One was safeguarded by the Zakarum and Kurast. One was sealed in the chest of the leader of the Herodrum, Talrasha. Oh, I can in hear the sands your of heart in the crying last, after was buried me. Within a labyrinth built into the heels of Kandaras, which would later become known as Tristram. The influence oh. of the prime evils was too much for the Ooh, is that a hell to contain, however. And Mephisto would begin to seep out his hatred throughout the Zacharim church, taking over the head of the order, Sankakur, after their former leader, Kalim, would not yield to evil's influence. His will just being too great. Mephisto counted on the events leading to the current state of being and set in motion his plan to <laughs> Look free at this his nuisance. brothers and once again use sanctuary as a staging point to grow the power of the burning hells. He would then send the great adherent Leoric and his archbishop Lazarus to Kandarus to find his seat of power in Tristram and free his brother as the new king with the ultimate goal of the now corrupted Lazarus unearthing the crimson soul Bro, why his face pop out the like youngest that? of the prime evils Diablo soul this brings us then to the events of Diablo 1 Tristan okay. with Leoric as their king would flourish for a time but quickly descend into destitution Lazarus found Diablo's prison and after failing to utilize Leoric as the demon's host turned his youngest son, Albrecht. The disappearance of Albrecht would drive the king mad, slaughtering the citizens of Tristram out of suspicion until his own knights would slay him. But not before, he muttered a curse that would bind them to him even in undeath. Hey, his own knights king. killed him because he was going crazy on everybody. would come to Tristram's aid. Morena of the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye, Jazareth of the Vigeri, and Aiden, the eldest son of Leoric. He did liberate the town from the evil influence of Leoric and Lazarus. But Lazarus's work was complete, and Diablo had found its new host. Oh my god. Young Albrecht. 
After a grueling fight with the beast on oh, yeah. the outskirts of hell, Aiden, the warrior, realizing Diablo would once again escape, mistakenly took the soul stone into his own body to seal the demon. Wow. But this act would that's not stop the plans of I'm say that's the ultimate sacrifice. So the all-consuming influence of the prime evils would snuff out the light and leave only darkness in its wake. After a time of recovery and celebration, Aiden, Morena, and Jazareth would leave from Tristram, but the burning hells would follow in their wake. Demons and undead ravaged the town of Tristram and spread throughout the land. In Diablo 2, five heroes, including Cassia the Amazon, Zul the Necromancer, and Ascendra, Kratos. the Sorceress, along with a yet unnamed Barbarian and Paladin, they look like Kratos. <laughs> to answer this new surge of evil. Aiden, I swear it looks like Kratos. Diablo, had set out across the land, heading east towards Kurast, and having corrupted Morena, now the dreaded Blood Raven, enlisted the aid of the lesser evils and Dariel and her twin brother Juriel, who'd been summoned Boy, is that to a snail but Oh! Run! A summoning that Morena was coerced into. These two lesser evils acted to slow the heroes from catching up with this new dark wanderer and his quest to free his imprisoned brother, Bale, whose location was hidden by lost heroic knowledge, which the party uncovers in Horizon's arcane sanctuary. Now inhabited by a newly corrupted Jazreth, the Summoner, the heroes would then locate the prison of the demon Bale. Oh, the PlayStation buttons. Of Tristram's town scholar and last of the Herodrum, Decad Cain, rescued from the ruins of Tristram, but it's too late. Now freed, Bale and Diablo steal across the twin seas to Kurast and soon join together with their brother Mephisto, who opens a portal to the burning hells for Diablo and sends Bale to gather himself and rally his forces to launch an assault uh -oh. against Ariat. And corrupt uh -huh. the coveted world stone while Mephisto holds off the heroes in the depths of the Travancool Temple. Diablo is then pursued into hell by the heroes, and with the aid of the Archangel Tyriel, he is defeated, and his and Mephisto's soul stones were destroyed at the Great Hellforge, presumably ending the two evils for good. The heroes then follow after Bale. Joined by a druid of Skosglen and an assassin of the Vizjaktar, the heroes confront Bale within the Worldstone Keep, who has laid oh. waste to the barbarian homeland. But Bale has completed Mephisto's plan, corrupting the great so Diablo stone got body the shard of his own soul stone. Even with the destruction of Bale, it's too late to reverse the damage. And in a last-ditch effort, Tyriel destroys the Worldstone, scattering its shards across Sanctuary. In Diablo Immortal, Diablo's minion Skarn begins collecting shards of the Worldstone for the Burning Hells to resurrect the Lord of Terror. But with the aid of the Archangel Gilnira, these efforts fail, and the heroes stop the resurrection of Diablo. To hear more of this story, donate $24.99 to the channel. I'm joking. I was about to say, you doing that for- you doing that? Pass between Diablo I was about to say, three, with very what? Between, I'm having a good time. Who was thought dead is resurrected after he was destroyed in the blast of the Worldstone's destruction, forsaking his angelic mantle, and is sent plummeting to Sanctuary, where he plays his part in the event of the End of Days prophecy. Deckard Cain and his adopted niece Leah, with the aid of another band of heroes, Hi, Leah. How you doing? a barbarian, a wizard, a witch doctor, a monk, and a demon hunter all canonically yet unnamed, save for some lesser connections to the short stories that may be cemented lore-wise in D4, uncover a plot of another lesser evil, Belial, who has sent lesser his minion evil? Magda and her coven to obtain the fallen star for himself. After killing Cain, an enraged Leah unleashes a terrific torrent of power, revealing a hidden gift with Give me your soul. the heroes save Tyriel from Magda and restore, in part, his angelic power. They set out across the lands to stop Belial and the final lesser evil, Asmodan, who has mounted an assault from the crater of Ariat, all while learning more about Leah's growing power. They find and rescue the witch Adria, who is revealed to be Leah's mother and oh. mentors in her growth. They also resurrect the slain Herodric mage, Zoltan Kool, who constructed another soul stone capable of holding the souls of all seven great evils. He also reveals to the heroes of their long dormant power. Dang, and sets that's them a big boy. To awakening it. With the black soul stone, the heroes capture the essence of Belial and Asmodan. You over here! Strangely, 
The essences of the other five slain evils reside within already. Strangely, that is, until Adria reveals that she altered the stone and bound the evil's essence to it, drawing them in during a time of their demise. But the soul stone was complete without a host. However, one perfect candidate exists. Leah, the daughter of Adria and Prince Aiden, after he imprisoned Diablo within himself, joins with the soul stone and now in possession of all seven evils, becomes the prime evil, the living incarnation of Tathomet. So she's like the ultimate evil. The dragon that became the burning hells. Now powerful enough to mount an assault against the high heavens, Diablo routs the forces of heaven and nearly succeeds in destroying the crystal arch before an awakened Nephilim, the heroes of Diablo III, traveled with Leah, stops Diablo at the pinnacle of heaven. For a time after, Dan, this man, this man got there and, and, and couldn't stay there. Involving Tyrael absconding from heaven with the Black Soul Stone to prevent its corruptive influences from doing any more damage to the high heaven. But one other angel desires its power also. Malthiel, the once Archangel of Wisdom, now Angel of Death, takes the stone from Tyrael and launches a campaign to destroy the population of Sanctuary and the Burning Hells as he deems the humans of Sanctuary being part demon, evil. Malthiel nearly succeeds if not for the intervention of the same awakened Nephilim, which we, the hero, control. This is even after Malthiel So like the Nephilim, the is, they're, they're good the people, right? Evils trapped in the Black Soul Stone, which are released upon his death. It's also during this time that a crusader and necromancer join the ranks of the heroes. But who I'm trying to download as much information as I can. Of Diablo 3 and Reaper of Souls is yet to be revealed. Perhaps huh. we shall see in Diablo 4. This takes us to the upcoming addition to the timeline with Diablo 4. Hey, th we, we recently just seen this, uh, this video, by the way. Of events. I want to fit in as much as Lilith, Lilith versus uh, recap. The full Inarius. story is much more nuanced, obviously, and I invite you to view the story in full found in the play section of this channel, which will be fleshed out further when the game comes out. What we do currently know about Diablo 4 is Lilith has returned yet again. Released by the machinations of a enigmatic pale summoner known as Elias, and has begun to spread her influence in the sanctuary and the burning hells. Anarius, curiously, has also returned, but by whose hand yet is unknown, and we will see in time. And what of the fates of the seven great evils? I mean, I'm We've not going to give away any spoilers because we just seen the video, teasers, but uh. But no hints as to the whereabouts of Diablo, Mephisto, Baal, Belial, and Asmodan save for Lilith's cult holding Diablo's skull in a flash. What we do know is five heroes have joined the fight this time, with the Barbarian, Sorcerer, Necromancer, Druid and Rogue classes making up the first installment of playable heroes. Who knows how their stories will unfold, and how your choices will influence them, but we hope to see you in Sanctuary in June to find out. I don't know if you would have chosen to stand beside me. In this new world. And now, uh, what she? Look, I'm not, again. No spoilers. But I would have saved your place, just the same. And now, all that you might have been has been stolen from me. Stolen. more than the doors of hell it unlocks our path to the future a future made possible because of the price you paid she was a demon the sacrifice will not have been in vain Well then, shout out to this guy, man. Uh, what, what, what's his what's his channel name? What is his channel name? Hold up, give me one second. I, okay, Game Lord Dash. Oh no, well that's his. Okay, hold up. That's his. Uh, I'm guessing that's his YouTube name as well. Game Lord Dash. Shout out to you. You did an excellent job with this. Um, as as somebody that is new to the you know Diablo series, 
uh, you really did, uh, you know, a really good job uh, explaining everything. Obviously, you know, it, it it was like the whole history is was just compacted into like you know one video. So, at sometimes it was kind of hard to like digest some of the parts and stuff like that. But I kind of get like the like the gist of it. Okay, so yeah, shout out to you for that. Uh, make sure you guys go subscribe to Game Lord Das. I'm gonna put his channel and I'm gonna put the um, the link of the video in the description down below. So you guys go check him out. Uh, this is a really, really, really uh, you know well put together video. So yeah, shout out to him for that. Um, but yeah, other than that, we have seen the Lilith versus Inari. Inaris is that his name? The guy that had the white stuff flowing out of his back. That that dude. We yeah him. You know, the, the guy that we said that, that that he was cold, bro. Like, he was, like, I can't lie. In the first Diablo 4 trailer that we seen, like, months ago, I cannot lie, bro. That man looked absolutely fire. Um, And, you know, at that time, I didn't know anything about the game. But I'll keep it real, bro. That man looked cold, bro. But other than that, uh, this is this is my reaction to this. Obviously, you know, I couldn't really say, you know, you know, a lot of stuff. Because, you know, I wanted to, you know, learn a lot about the lore. So, you know, obviously, I can know more. We could, react, uh, we could react to more videos stuff like that but that's me though for me i i really want to know more about the game and stuff like that so obviously i couldn't really say i couldn't really talk over him a lot obviously i said if you know i said some things but i you know i didn't want to talk over him a lot you know like usually because I, I can't lie like once i start talking i talk a lot you know um you know i start to stutter and everything you know <laughs> But that's just me though. That's that's just me. That's just who I am. But yeah, hopefully you guys learn something too. You know, if you guys are new to the Diablo uh, Diablo series, then you know what up? How you doing? What's up? Hey, what up, man? You do that, right? But other than that, <laughs> other than that, um, yeah, man, I learned a lot. We're gonna see so, uh, if there's any more Diablo Four videos out there. You know that we can react to, that we can have fun too. But yeah, we did see the Lilith versus uh, the 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 in the Inaries uh video we've seen that video already um that scene was cold that scene was absolute top tier it was cold i'm not gonna give out uh no spoilers you know i'm not, listen, i'm not lame i'm not gonna give out any spoilers you know I, I could right but i'm not gonna do that though make sure you guys you know go check the video out you know uh if, if you want to you guys don't have to i'm not gonna be like one of those youtubers if you don't watch my video i'm going to take your eyeballs like i'm not gonna i'm not one of those youtubers you know if you don't watch my video you get five years of bad luck like no no i'm not gonna do that i mean but if you don't watch my video though like if you don't like the video bro yeah bro you're getting 20 years of bad luck bro like something's really wrong with you if you don't like my video but other than that i'll see you guys later for the next one i'm out and